welcome to my java video series today i'm going to talk about types of string there are two major types of strings in java so one is a mutable string one is a mutable string and second one is a immutable string mutable string means a string which can be modified a string which can be modified is called mutable and we can create mutable string with the help of uh, string builder we have java classes here java dot lang dot string builder and uh, one more class we have it is called string buffer so both classes are used to create mutable strings and you can create here immutable strings immutable means you cannot modify the string which cannot be modified is called immutable string object and now the example we have seen earlier that is java dot lang dot string the object created through this string class is a immutable string objects so let me start my discussion from immutable first because we have already discussed few points about the strings and uh, we'll continue with the immutable string first then we'll come to the mutable so let me write a small example to describe this immutable string and this time i would like to run my program from netbeans because in my previous series we have already seen how string how to create project from the netbeans so this project i'm planning to create from the netbeans so open a netbeans here yes the project is and the netbeans is ready so you have to close this all your previous projects close the project here now i'm going to create a project here create a new project here from this project window so i'm going to create one simple java project here and name your project so this is your uh a string types application so save this program in this folder work folder i'm using here so it is creating a main class here look at this create main class so main class is a class which contains main method from where you, the program execution will be started so if you think you need to create a class here just type your class name here i'm going to talk about immutable string first so create a class here so this is my immutable string class if you want some more additional comments here you can keep the comment and write your own comments but if you don't want you can remove the comments so you can write your logic here now let me write a statement here s1 i'm going to assign here hello this is hello and second statement this is s2 and this is friends now when i write here s1 equals to s1 plus s2 so this is your concat operation this is your concat operation and now let me print the value of this string let me print the value of this string s1 and after modification 
again print this this is a concat operation and we are trying to try to modify so this statement is trying to modify your string so here we declared two strings s1 s2 we printed the value of s1 and we have performed here concat operation and this is this will we are trying to modify the string here let's see what will be the result here so now after modification again print your string and run this program check the output here just a moment yes you can see here output the original string is hello initially when you printed when you printed here s1 you could see here hello and from the second line after modification you could see here hello friends so just now we talk that strings are immutable once a string is created it cannot be modified but according to the output i can see here changes it, it has been modified so how it has happened so let me draw this scenario from the first line when you created a string you have got one string object here in your first statement you created one string and this is your hello so it is located in memory suppose its hash code is triple one and this is referred by s1 because s1 is pointing to this object so this is how you can see this is your statement number one this one now from the second statement you have got another object here so this is your second object and this is friends and this is triple two suppose its address will be triple two and this is s2 and this is pointing to the second object so this is s1 s2 are references and these two are string objects now when you perform the concat operation what will happen when this particular side is executed when the right hand side is executed one more string object will be created here and this object will concat the value from s1 and s2 so this is how you can see concat and it is a new object this is a new object and this new object the address of this object is assigned to s1 so you have copied this address in s1 and when you assign the value to the same variable old reference will be discarded and it is pointing to the new object so this is how it is connected to the new object so actually we have not modified any object so a string object is not if not modified if it is modified this would be the scenario but here it is not the case it has created a new object and the reference of the new object is assigned to s1 so this technique is actually not creating new object so new reference a reference is overridden by the new value this is a new value given to the s1 reference so object is not modified i can show you you can print the value of the s1 has code print this and again print this and run this you will see here difference so this is your different object and after modification this is a different object this is five six five six five zero so both are different objects just like this scenario initially the object was different and now after concatenation you have got a new object means existing object is not modified as we talk about the immutability so modification of the object means if changes are applied if changes are applied in same memory location then we can call it mutable mutable objects but this is not a mutable object because it has created the new object but what is uh, how the object is modified here how, how the output is modified here output seems modified because you have overridden overridden the same reference 
you have created a new a new object is created here and it is assigned to the same reference so that's the reason but uh, as we have seen this of the original object is not modified and that's why it is called immutable strings now the point is why strings are immutable now the question is why strings are immutable so to explore this topic you need to understand some string literal pooling so let me talk about a reference link for your further study you can go to the google and search i'm going to share a link here a string literal pool and you can search this from you can uh, go through this first link this is your uh, string literal pool from this java wrench website okay this is a very useful topic for your further study so this is a topic you need to read this can help you to understand why strings are immutable so go through this topic i'm going to share this link this is the reference link you can follow and this topic is called string literal pooling this topic is called string literal pooling this is to do for you so you can refer this link for further study on the string immutability and this is how you can see string immutability in next video we'll talk about mutability so this is enough for first uh, for the mutability in next series we'll discuss more on the mutable strings thank you very much for watching